Welcome back to Timeline. Today we have a fascinating journey lined up for you. Ever wondered what the world would look like without the internet? Imagine a life without instant messaging, online shopping, digital maps, and much more. It's hard to believe that just a few decades ago, these conveniences were the stuff of science fiction. Today, we're going to take you on a journey back in time. From its humble beginnings as a military experiment to the worldwide network that connects us all today, join us as we delve into the fascinating history of the Internet. The Internet started as a military project during the Cold War. In 1969, the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, or ARPANET, was designed to keep communication lines open even in the event of a nuclear attack. It was a network of computers that could communicate with each other, even if some parts of the network were damaged. This was a revolutionary concept at the time, and it laid the groundwork for what would eventually become the Internet. Fast forward to 1989, when Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web at CERN. This isn't the Internet itself, but a system that allows us to access information on the Internet through pages and links. It's like a library for the Internet, making it easier for people to create, find, and navigate web pages. Berners-Lee's invention was a game-changer, making the Internet accessible and useful to ordinary people all over the world. In 1993, software called web browsers made it easy for anyone to navigate the web. Mosaic was released in January 1993, and Netscape Navigator was launched in December 1994. These were among the first browsers that made the internet user-friendly. They transformed the internet from a complex system used by scientists and academics into a tool that anyone with a computer could use. By the late 90s, many companies were starting up based solely on internet business models, known as dot-coms. Despite a major crash in these businesses around 2000, this period paved the way for today's tech giants like Amazon and Google. The next big step was Web 2.0, where websites became interactive. This is when social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube started to appear around 2004-2005, changing how we communicate and share content online. These platforms allowed users to interact with each other in real time and share their thoughts and experiences with people all over the world. With the launch of smartphones around 2007, particularly with the introduction of iPhone, the internet became portable. Now we could access information anywhere, anytime with mobile apps. This revolutionized how we use the internet and made it an integral part of our daily lives. Now we're in the era of the Internet of Things or IoT, which started gaining traction around 2010. This is where everyday objects like your fridge or car are connected to the Internet, making them smarter and more convenient to use. The IoT has opened up new possibilities for home automation and smart cities. As we look ahead into what's next for the Internet, there are many possibilities. Will artificial intelligence play a bigger role? How will we handle privacy in an increasingly connected world? And what about quantum computing? These are all areas that could shape our online world in ways we can only imagine. And that's our journey through time. We hope you enjoyed this exploration into how the internet has grown and changed over decades. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful videos. Thank you for being a part of Timeline.